Hi, James here. Welcome back to the Vintage Model Company. Today I'm demonstrating how you can build the fuselage of a balsa wood model aeroplane. We're using the Magnificent Flying Machines BF109 kit, but the main principles here remain the same for most laser cut models. After preparing my workspace, the first thing to do was to consult the printed instructional booklet to find out which pieces of the fuselage I needed to remove from the laser cut sheets. I find that laying each former down in order is a good way to save time later and stay organised. With this aeroplane, you build the fuselage in two halves. A central keel forms the backbone of the structure. Two halves of a nose former are made by laminating two separate pieces of balsa wood together. To ensure that the two components dried with perfect alignment, I temporarily pin them down to the building board. With the main keel laid out on the one-to-one -one scale drawings, you can suddenly visualise what the finished plane will look and feel like. The laminated nose former was the first thing to be glued in place on top of this keel. To remove excess glue when fitting the formers, I made sure to have a scraper nearby that was made from a spare stick of balsa wood. Next came the side keel. Marked as K2 on the plan, this strip is the main stringer that provides most of the torsional strength of the fuselage. Next came the stringers. These pre-cut strips of wood simply slot into the notches cut out from the formers. After allowing the glue to fully dry, which takes around 10 minutes usually, this left side of the fuselage was removed from the board. To prepare the fuselage for the next side, the five temporary cross pieces were removed with a sharp craft knife. These were only there on the master keel section to provide strength whilst there were no formers or stringers or anything like that. With this side of the fuselage complete, you could really see the lines of the Messerschmitt 109 in the formers and stringers of this small model aeroplane. With the next group of formers and other components removed from the balsa sheets, it was time to crack on with repeating the previous steps used to build the first half. So there you go, that's how the fuselage of one of our models goes together. All up it took around two hours to get to this stage and now the next bit is doing some sanding and doing all the finishing to this fuselage before covering. Don't worry, we're going to be doing more videos on those subjects so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of them. If you'd like to see a video on building a wing of a balsa wood plane then click the link below to the previous episode in this mini series. And remember to check out all of the links in the description for a link to the kit and a link to some other useful resources and where you can find us online. Thanks very much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.